a data scientist or a data analyst job is to, um, and, and it's interesting, there's, there's some misperceptions about this. A data scientist or a data analyst job is to understand the data, um, clean the data, write an algorithm, and then optimize the algorithm. If you think about a data scientist or a data analyst job, 80%, 70%, 80% of that job is just to clean up data. Uh, most people don't realize that. And so, you know, you go to five years of university and you're, you know, in spreadsheets or you're in databases just cleaning out data, getting out, getting rid of uh, bad data, getting rid of false positives, things like that. Um, that's about 80% of their job. There's probably another 10% that's just in the math. Like that's what everybody assumes a data scientist job is in writing an algorithm. But the algorithm, the math has been around for quite a while. Um, and then the remaining time is about optimizing that algorithm. And it's understanding the output of what they're trying to do. It's, it's understanding um, the problem and looking at the, the meaning or the context of, the, of that problem. And then, and then optimizing. It's, imagine an engine in a car. Um, once you put the engine in, if you're trying to really you know, win a race, what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to run the car and you're going to look at the results and the data, and then you're going to tweak it. You may tweak the carburetor. You may tweak you know, the, the gas mix or the, things like that. That's really the, the art of, of data science. There's three parts to, to data science, um, and most people think of one. It's the math. It's the, uh, the data. And then it's the process. Now, the math, where everybody assumes is the cool stuff of, of data science, and it's, I mean, it is. I, I mean, I, we all love the math, right? Um, I say that a little bit, you know, facetiously. I, but I, but I, again, I love the math. But the math has been around for a long time. The real value of data science is, is in the data. Um, but to give you a reference, the, the math has been around for over 60 years. In 1958, um, first of all, Arthur Samuel from IBM had already um, written algorithms, fairly sophisticated decision tree algorithms that optimized and created an automated uh, checkers game. By 1960, um, it wasn't Bell Labs, it was uh, Stanford Labs. They, um, they were already using neural nets for filtering out j uh, echo and jitter from live phone, phone conversations. So think about this. Today, if you were to um, make a startup and say, hey, I'm going to use neural nets and I'm going to filter, I'm going incre to increase or improve uh, call quality, like they would be funded, people would be like cheering for them, it would be like bleeding edge stuff. But this is 60 years ago. The, the math has been around. I mean, they're still, one of the, the, the predominant algorithms people use today are neural nets, same stuff. Now it's optimized, it's a little bit better. You have things like deep nets that are a little bit more sophisticated or, or decision tree, or excuse me, random forest algorithms. But the math has been around for a long time. So the real value is it, it's all about the data and it's all about the process. It's how you integrate that data. Enjoy watching this video? Click here for all the latest news on SiliconFootball.com or follow us on social media.